Hey, you see the thing, you see the thing where Ellie is, you know what I'm saying? What I stood for was for God. You know what I'm saying? All this legacy I was trying to build, I mean, the Holy Kingdom, all of that, I was doing for God. You know what I mean? Everything, you know, I want to do for the, for the, for the, for the path of the light. You know, um, most of those that got a problem with me, everything that they do is for themselves. You feel me? It's that simple. You feel me? I do things to glorify God. That's what I'm all about. What I've been all about. They do things to glorify themselves. And that's the conflict right there, you know. But so I mean, it wasn't really much respect for me uh, ever, you know, because I guess, you know, you know what we what we uh our value, what we value are, is different, you know what I'm saying? The way we see the world different in that respect. You know what I mean? So, I mean, it wasn't too hard for, for some, you know, to bore me and stuff, like, all day, every day, all year long. You know what I mean? You know, and I just wish that I could have got to some people before others got to them. You feel me? Or before the devil got to them. You know what I'm saying? Because, I mean, I mean, because unfortunately, you know, when we, some made choices, you know what I'm saying, that put them, made them enemies with God, like, forever, you know, in this world and the next world, you know, and that's what it be like, a lot of people be like, oh, he look familiar, I mean, yeah, I'm Ellie, but unfortunately, you know what I'm saying, they're on the other side of the chasm, you feel me, and God can't even get them from over there, because they made the choice because God gave them free will. So God gave everybody free will to make their own choice in their life. And everything that, that they do, anything a person do in their life, follows and it sticks with them forever in the other side. The, being in the flesh, the physical is temporary. Eternity is forever. That's the real life. The other side is real life. This is a test, you know, and everything you do, Sticks with you forever. I mean, and some people, you know, might have used their time to do irreversible things, like, like, uh, hand their soul over to the devil. And even though they might be in something for like a short period of time, they where they thought, you know, unfortunately, uh, that's a eternal commitment, and God honors that. You know what I'm saying? If God make that choice. You know, I mean, if somebody make that choice, you know what I'm saying, over their soul, because, I mean, they say it's theirs, over their souls, and they say, this is my soul, this is what I want to do with it, and I'm, and they go give it to the, you know, for for a season, you know, for, you know, they say one purpose, but they don't realize that that's a forever a commitment, you know what I'm saying, and God honors that forever, like, well, they have said that they don't want God officially. So God honors that. You know what I mean? And they got to keep that commitment all the way that they get down there with the devil, who they gave it to. And you, you all, we already know that he don't have nothing down there for nobody. More torture. Deception, world of pain. But I mean, that's death to be there, you know, with the devil. And I mean, it's the most saddest thing ever. You know, it's not nothing to glory in. It's heartbreaking. It absolutely, you know, it's, it's, I mean, it's the saddest thing ever, man. You know, uh, and not all made that mistake, you know. Some made that mistake. And and it's unfortunate because you know when they don't realize the immensity of the choice that they made, even if you know they didn't think it was a big deal for a certain amount of time, they didn't realize that they eternally gave their only soul away to the devil forever. You know, so they're on the other side of the chasm, and I mean, it's nothing nobody can do, like at all. Not even God can do anything about it. Because he honors their choice. 
And it's the most heartbreaking thing ever, man. Because this, this physical world, is, this physical life is short. This not forever. That's forever. Everything we do in here is storing up for there. You know. Just like I got, <laughs> I got the uh, worthless, what is it, worthless bracelet that I wear, you know, for instance, for example, in this world, you know what I mean, it's symbolic, of, of, you know, you know, it's symbolic, you know, to anybody with discernment, but in the heavens, the Lord got me Rolexes and stuff, you know, see what I'm saying, like, example, the Lord exalts those who humble himself, you know. But I mean, I ain't knocking nobody's success. I'm just saying, like, for my journey, you know, it was the best possible way. You know, uh, it was really the only way I could live. When you think about how I was sabotaging, really since birth, all the way to now. I mean, I ain't really have a choice anyway, but. Even if I did have a choice, I still would choose God. You feel me? 